When working with ActionScript 3 data types, there are some differences between JavaScript and ActionScript in how we create the variables. We still use the keyword var, but we're going to use data types when we declare them. In JavaScript, I can just declare a variable with the keyword var. I can say var name equals Bob. That would be all that it would take. In ActionScript, we have to be a little bit more specific. We have to talk about what kind of variable we want to create. So let's create a variable nm. We'll set it equal to the string Bob. But the variable itself, we have to add a colon and the data type when we create it. So this nm is a string variable with the value Bob. We can declare variables just like that with no value whatsoever, and then later on assign a value to them. We can create numbers. So let's say we create one called age. We set it equal to the number. There we go. Same sort of thing. We can create booleans. So alive. We'll set it equal to a boolean. Notice the code complete in ActionScript in Flash Professional comes up to help us uh, know what we can type. And this would be true. We can have um, arrays. So names is an array. And we can set that equal to the square brackets. Inside here we can put nothing, so it's an empty array, or we could put a list of things. So the number three, the value true, the name John, a whole bunch of things, whatever we want. Now we have additional numeric data types. Number is for any number, with decimals, without de decimals, uh, positive, negative, it doesn't matter, it's any kind of number. We can create a variable which is of type int. This is integers only. So one, two, three. That is an integer. Create another one, int, and we can say it's negative three, two, one. That's fine. We just can't put a decimal on it. So up here on our number, if we wanted, we could put a long decimal place, we could put positive, negative, it doesn't matter. Int has no decimal places, it's integers only. And one other type is called uint, which is for unsigned integer. This is an unsigned integer. Notice it has no negative sign in front of it. So unsigned just means that there's no differentiation between positive and negative. It's just, it's a number, it's always positive. Now, there is a keyword new that we can use when creating any of these variables. We can say var nm string equals new string. Put bob inside there. Now we shouldn't use the same variable here. Var other one string equals new string. Or actually up above we didn't declare it. But we'd use new string here. Um, age, that was the next one. Number equals new number. This applies to any one of the variables. So we can just use the keyword new in front of any of them. Boolean, array, int, unsigned int. You just put the value that you want to assign to it inside those round brackets. Most of the time, however, it's just simpler to write the value itself. You just put a number assign it equal to the variable, you data type the variable, and you're done. You don't use new and the name of the variable a second, or the name of the data type a second time. When we are creating other objects, like movie clips, these are very complex objects. For these, we do need to use the keyword new. So, there, yeah, we've created a new movie clip. We can create a new sprite. Uh, another kind of visible object. That it's like a movie clip, it just has no timeline. Or create a shape. You can draw inside of that. 
So keyword new gets used to create new variables with simpler ones, string, number, int, unsigned int, array, boolean. We don't have to use the keyword new. The big difference here is that we really need to use the data type with the variable name when we create it.